would do what I wanted the way I wanted to do it. And I stick to that. So, I mean, I, if I had to do leading man things just to just to continue to be an actor, continue to work, nah, I'd rather, I'd rather go back to pumping gas. What do you think when you look at those pictures? No, really, what, what do you think? No, it was a strange time because I'd become this product and it made me very uncomfortable. Yeah, because I, I didn't, I mean, Being I Being sort of labeled a heartthrob. Well, they just, they just started to build this image and it had nothing to do with me. And no one should accept anything but the truth. To have to suffer the ignorance of someone lying to you for some type of gain. And You've never seen any of your films, ever? I tried to see one once because the director asked me to. I fell asleep 35 times. I feel the experience. I'm happy with the process is what I'm interested in. Mm -hmm. The process of creating process of exploring the process of breaking formula damaged characters are, are more interesting because but that's that's what's great about about the work everybody's damaged everyone's damaged on some level and I'm fascinated with human behavior I'm, I'm fascinated with the flaws of the human being I mean I'm just fascinated it's, it's a strange thing because the the greatest thing you can do as an actor, I think, is to be an observer. And at a certain point, something bizarre happens. And you're not able to observe in public anymore because everyone is observing you. So that's a kind of danger. Since May 27th, when my daughter was born, I have been floating. I smile constantly, which I never did before. And you never imagined you would have it this kind of... No, you know, you, you you can never. Everybody tells you, and you know, you know, their experience, and you know it's going to be something, you know, sublime. But you know, you just don't. You can't imagine until it actually happens. When you when you see this little angel arrive, it's uh, she's everything. The baby is everything. It's so amazing. My little family. It's just so. It's unbelievable. It's. Uh, I don't know. It's the only thing that's ever happened. Really, the only thing. Everything else is smoke. What were you worried when you turned 50? No, you know, it, it was like, uh, I mean, it was just a wake up, it's another day, you know, and everybody makes a deal about, you know, the idea, oh, 50, you know, half a century and stuff like that. It felt like 40 to me. It just felt like another decade, really, you know. I mean, both grown-ups and kids love him so much. What is it about him, you think, that makes... Well, for one, I think he's a major talent. Two, he's awesomely good looking. Three, he's um, he's not like most people we know. There is something offbeat about him that is intriguing and ultimately attractive. There's something magical about him. My kids call him Uncle Fun, you know? And uh, he is, when you are with him, you are pretty certain that nobody else is having as good a time as you are. I came here for, for you, the people, to, um, through whatever good times or bad, you know, have stood by me, trusted me, and you've, um, thank you, and you, uh, 